Welcome to my series, Did You Know? Today we're talking about evaluating expressions the easy way. Before we begin, let's talk about the difference between evaluating and solving. My students often get confused and misunderstand what the difference is. So to evaluate an expression means to find the value of the expression when the variable is replaced by a given number. So notice that you have evaluate and you're talking about value. So value is within the word. It's part of the word evaluate. And you're going to be finding the value of something when you evaluate. When you're solving something, the biggest difference I could tell students is that you have an equal sign and you're finding a solution. Solve, solution. And it means to find the variable. So you're finding the solution of an equation and what the variable is equal to. So to put it back all together, when you're asked to evaluate, you're going to be given the value of a variable x, and you're going to ask to be finding the value of the expression. When you're asked to solve, you would expect to be finding the solution of an equation, which is what does x equal? What is the value of x? So when you're evaluating, you're going to be given the value. When you're solving, you're going to find the value of the variable. All right, so before we begin reviewing how to evaluate an expression, you need to review order of operations. So the first thing in order of operations is P, and we simplify any parentheses. So if there are any parentheses within our expression, we do what's inside. We evaluate or simplify what's inside the parentheses first. Then we look at our expression and we look for any and identify any exponents. And if there are any exponents, we have to do that repeated multiplication. Remember, exponents is repeated multiplication. So 3 squared is 3 times 3. And you'd want to evaluate that before you continued. Next, this is important. Students often confuse multiply and divide because they've learned the expression PEMDAS and they go through and they do all the M and then they go back and do all the D. M and D need to be done together. Multiply and divide are done in order. So you look at your expression, your mathematical statement, just like you would read a book. You read it from the left to the right. And any time, starting at the left, that you come across a multiplication sign, you multiply. Then if you keep on going, if you come across a division sign or a multiplication sign, you do that. But you do them in order from left to right. And lastly, you do the AS in PEMDAS, the add and subtract. And again, they are done together, but in order from left to right. So starting at the left side of your expression that remains after doing the P, the E, the M, and the D, then look and you do all the addition and subtraction in order from left to right. If you don't do these in order, you could get the wrong answer. All right, so let's evaluate. So the ex first expression I have for you, and this is what a problem may look like when you're given this from your teacher. It could say evaluate 2x when x equals 2. So the algebraic expression here is the 2x, reminding you that that is 2 multiply by x. There's an invisible multiplication sign right in between the 2 and the x. So I ask students to remember that. That is 2 multiply by x. And remember what this statement is saying is that you're going to replace x in the expression with the value of 2. So I like my students to use parentheses because when we start introducing fractions and decimals and negative signs, it can get confusing. And if we put parentheses, we know that we're putting inside that parenthesis whatever x is equal to. So we're prepared for any value. Good practice. So now inside the parenthesis, I put what x is equal to that I've been given to in the problem. And now I just simply have to do 2 times 2 which is 4. Okay, let's evaluate another one. So here we have our expression, this 3x squared, reminding you that this is 3 multiplied by x squared. So we write down the expression, and in the parentheses, remembering that this is 3, the invisible multiplication sign, 
and I replace the x with 4, and I still have my exponent of 2. So remembering back to my order of operations, even though I have parentheses here, there's nothing to do inside the parentheses. So my next step is exponents. And 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. Now I need to multiply 3 times 16, which is 48. So this expression, 3x squared, is equal to 48 when x is equal to 4. So let's review the negative x. Remembering that negative x has an invisible 1. That is negative 1 times x. Or the value of x, make it its opposite, make it negative. So when I replace the negative, the x with 5, I end up with negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5.